extend a particular welcome to those of you joining us for the first time or to those returning after an absence. It is always good as well to see familiar faces. The presence of each of you brought us this time for worship. Are there any announcements? O oh, loving God of past and future, we praise you for this present moment. Fill us with your joy and empower us with your spirit that our strength may be renewed to sing a new song of your glory in a world which longs for your justice and peace. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, in whom we become your new creation. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The scripture today is from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. All right, Alan, you had a pick. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. I surrender all. Five, seven, nine. And I'm just going to say to those of you who haven't named your favorite, these folks have some strategy. So, you know, go ahead and look it up. 579, I surrender all. Six hundred nineteen, God will take care of you. Six one nine.
Let me, I'll, you're the next one after the prayer. All right, I'll pick you. All right, I, I like y'all are lining them up. The Reverend Dr. Howard Thurman wrote about the privilege of pause. And so as we prepare our hearts to join in prayer for one another, I offer you this brief meditation that he penned. It is a very great and intimate privilege to be able to pause, to turn aside from the things that occupy and preoccupy the mind in the daily round, to wait on the threshold of a new week, and to look back over the week that has passed. From this vantage point, we see perhaps more clearly than the experiences themselves could have indicated the meaning of so many things which affected us and which we affected during the week that has passed. The strong word we used when the impulse was to be silent. The moment of misunderstanding when we turned our gaze away from the truth to embrace the lie in which we found comfort and reassurance. The deed which we performed when even before the task was complete, we knew it was but a poor representation of the integrity of our intent. All of the hours of the days move before us as we stand looking back over the way we have come. We anticipate tomorrow, some of us with high hopes and abiding enthusiasms, some of us with anxiety that deepens as the hours of a new day approach, some with fear lest the decisions that must be made be decisions that are in themselves self-defeating, denying the quality of meaning which we have distilled out of the years of our living. We anticipate tomorrow not because it is our promise and our due, but because there is within us a deep yearning for the fulfillment of that which we have not known before, for the opportunity to be what, if we have another chance, we think we may become. May God brood over us as we stand on the threshold, giving to our faltering footsteps the sturdiness that can only come from the one for whom tomorrow and today and yesterday are but one moment in a vast series of moments. May God tender our spirits that we may not, through any callousness of mind or hardness of heart, hurt and maim and injure where we could bless and cure and heal. May God not leave us alone to the independence of our minds or to the hardness of our minds and spirits, but surround us with God's own care that what we do will be what we mean and what we say will be inspired by the integrity of the intent. Beloved, we know that when we sing, we pray more than once. And yet we also pause at this time in our service to join our hearts and prayers together so that we may share each other's burdens, so that we may magnify one another's celebrations. In a moment, I will begin with the word of spoken prayer, and then each of you are invited to offer your prayers. You may do so aloud or in the quiet of your heart, Know that God will hear your prayers however it is that you offer them. We will then conclude with the prayer that Jesus taught us. As always, feel free to pray in your mother tongue. God of creation, source of all song and breath and life, you raise your hand and gently begin the concerto, concerto of creation. Birds carry the melody while stars keep the beat. Mountains dance in merriment and little children clap their hands with joy. Love's composer, our new songs are lifted to you. The old, old song is made new in our hearts. Christ is risen. We sing alleluia as you invite us to sing to a world deafened by despair 
and haunted by the tunes of fear. Lord of the dance, our new songs are lifted to you. Believing that we cannot carry a tune, we hesitate to join in the chorus of praise sung by all creation. So you softly and gently hum the melody in our hearts until they burst with you, raising a rousing chorus of amazing grace. Music making spirit, our new songs are lifted to you. Every song old and new is offered to you, God in community, even as we continue to offer the prayers that are on our hearts this day. Beloved, let us hear you as you continue to pray. We thank you, God, for gathering us in this day. You know the prayers that are on our hearts. You know where we are insecure and anxious, where we are joyful and full of gratitude. We offer to you all these heaped up portions of ourselves trusting that you will take us as we are and love us into who we may yet be. We continue to pray for your peace in Gaza between Israel and Palestine where so many lives continue to be lost. We remember that our hearts can break for more than one group of people at a time. We pray for our brothers and sisters in South Sudan, in Ukraine and Russia, in Burma, in Manipur, India. We pray for people who are affected by extreme weather conditions. We remember those whose backs are against the wall. We pray that you would move our hearts and move not just our hearts, but our hands and our feet to action so that we may truly be your body here on this earth, responding in the ways that you would have us respond. We pray for comfort for those of us who are grieving losses too profound to fit into words. We pray for those of us who are looking for meaningful work. We pray for those of us whose bodies or spirits or minds are broken. We know that you are the great healer and we pray for your healing to pour into us in all the places that are rent. We pray for your healing in our relationships, interpersonally, and as a nation, as a world, with creation itself. And yet we have so much for which to give thanks. The cries of newborn children. In particular, we give thanks for our brother and sister Trina Swanson and Michael Zhang, who were married yesterday in our back garden. May God bless their union and their life together. We who so often take the wonders of creation for granted, welcome the opportunity this day to make a joyful noise before you, God. We come here this morning to worship and praise you, living in a place filled with diverse and beautiful examples of your creation. And yet we remember that joyful noises are not always easy for everyone to make. You know our circumstances, where we are, some of us, burdened down with daily stresses, some wearied from tasks of service, some worried over the state of the world. So we pray that you would speak to each of us, God, in this time, 
Remind us of your willingness to take your burdens upon yourself. May we learn from Jesus and experience his gentleness and steadfast love. May we experience the joy that you offer so that our joy might be complete. May we be confident in your promises as we offer this time of worship to you. May this time of praise reflect our thanksgiving for the gifts throughout creation that you have shared with us. We pray now in the manner Jesus taught us, saying, Abba, God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, Miss Jenny, you had your hand up. Thank you. 638, precious Lord, take my hand. 638. Yes, sir. 365. 365. Abide with me. 365. Abide with me.
Shout for joy, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let all sing before the Lord, for God comes to judge the earth in righteousness and with equity. Amen, and go in peace. <laughs>